Hello everybody, my name is Bodens and welcome to a prediction video for the team of the year. Um, a few a few other YouTubers are doing this, I'm going to try and do this now. And um, this um, team of the year being, is, if, you, if you're unsure, it's basically FIFA deciding the 11 best of the previous season and basically the Ballon d'Or is also the best player of the season. It was um, Lionel Messi last season and a few seasons in a row, I believe. And basically, I think he's going to get it again, so you'll see Messi in the squad. We're going to start off with the back. Last year, there was a load of Spanish players just everywhere in the team. Like, it was like six or seven or maybe even eight um, Spanish players in the team of the year this year I'm going to go a bit, more, a bit more lenient towards other nationalities and see if I can get them in there as well and this is who I think I'm just going to get it up on the other um, screen so I know who I'm picking and don't mess it up but in goal speaking of Spanish players it's going to be Iker Casillas um, basically solid goalkeeper for Real Madrid and Spain don't need to really speak it anymore I do think Joao has a chance of being in there but I think um, FIFA are just going to lean more towards the Spanish side and just pick Iker Casillas because they are that way um, well the first defender there we're going to pick another Spanish player and it's going to be um, uh, Gerard PK and he had a few injuries last year but I don't think it will matter that much. He had a very solid year. It could be Puyol as well, or um, instead of him. But I've gone with PK. I really did enjoy looking at him. I think he was better than um, uh, Puyol from what I saw. Uh, but that's just my opinion, of course. If you do want to just have your try at this team as well, the link will be in the description to try and do this for yourself. And of course, prove me wrong in any way you wish. Uh, but basically, it's all it's all on opinion who you think. And I'm trying to be, as I said, a bit more lenient towards other nationalities, which I think a lot of other people are trying to do as well, since Spain just dominate everything. But the next defender, anyway, is going to be a German man called Max Hummels. Um, I'm not going to read any of that information on him, but he was brilliant last year. I saw a few games with him um, for Borussia Dortmund um, in the Bundesliga. He was solid then. And in the Euro 2012, what a player he was. I think he did get a um, team of the year or team of the C team of the um, competition for that, anyway, um, which is pretty good. So he was very, very good. And uh, I really enjoyed watching him. And I think he's probably the best defender out of the lot of this, to be honest. Uh, the next two defenders are pretty solid as well. Though, but I really did enjoy looking at him. From what I saw, he was probably the best defender what I saw. But other people say these two next ones are the best. And I can agree with slightly this. Um, but the first one is going to be Giorgio Cialini. Um, like I said, what a player. And the other one is going to be Thiago Silva as well. Um, we're just going to plonk him in there. And these two guys were in the Serie A last league, um, I think. Um, well, Thiago Silva now plays for PSG, and he went on a nice deal with Zlatan. And these two guys are what a just great players. They had, I think, the, I think they had the most in forms last season um, in FIFA 12. So it's crazy that these guys are back again, and they're going to dominate this season again. I can tell you that. And um, Chiellini, um, just brilliant and he's tall he's strong he's fast and it's the same with Thiago Silva apart from the fact he's Brazilian so you've got this nice solid defence and I really do think this is a chanceful um, this, this has got a chance of being in the team of the year of course I don't want it dominated by Spanish players of course I was going to maybe pick Ashley Cole put him in there but I thought not to basically because not many BPL players get in this year but this year I've, I've put in one BPL player that you'll see in a second and um, we're going to put in the midfield now anyway and it's going to be, and the first one is going to be whoever I find first, which will be Andrea Perlo. And Perlo basically. Yeah, he's in there. I can say it now. I really want him in there, and I do think he deserves it. Um, he was great in the um, team of, or he was great in the Euros, and he was also great from the Serie A games. I watched him in for Juventus, and um, basically. The long-haired guy, it was just brilliant. He took the corners. He, oh, it's brilliant. I really can't describe all these players because they're all just the best of the best. Um, so we're going to go to the other midfielder. And the other midfielder is going to be um, a Spanish player called Xavi. You should know who he is. It's either going to be Xavi or um, Iniesta. For some reason, Iniesta is in the midfield. I'm sure he plays as a left wing. But I don't know. I'm really unsure about that. But Xavi, uh, basically, I do prefer him to Iniesta, in my opinion. Um, I do think maybe um, Iniesta could challenge him. But Xavi, for me, is always the one. And I do think the next one, could be Iniesta as well, but I've gone for a BPL player. You could know who it is. I think you, I think you will know who it is straight away. But it's Yaya Torre. I think last season he was fantastic. He was the best midfielder in my opinion last season. In your rows, he dominated. Um, not in the rows, sorry. In at the BPL, um, he was just the lad. He was the one for Manchester City. He was always there. It could have been Davis Silva as well, but yeah, I think people did say that Davis Silva was better in their opinion. But in my opinion, Yaya Torre was the heart of the team, just continually defending, attacking. He had the high work rates of him were fantastic, and I really do think he'll get in there this year. I would lo love him to, and to stop the Spanish just getting in there all the time. I think Yaya Torre and Perlo have a good chance of stopping him from or stopping them all from doing that. Uh, but the three forwards, I think I mean, you could. Good guess who two of them definitely are. So I'm going to put them two in now. Um, the first one's going to be 
Um, Cristiano Ronaldo, we don't need to say anything about him. Second top goal in the Liga, um, and also Messi is going to be in there basically because he is going to be winning the Ballon d'Or, in my opinion. I don't think Ronaldo stands a chance, of course. And at the other forward, it was going to be Zlatan or Falcao. I asked on Twitter, and Falcao won basically. If you do want to follow me on Twitter or anything, and you can show me your teams that you've chosen, and then that'll be cool as well. I would love to see what you've chosen and see the variations of what people think we're going to get in this team of the year. Um, basically, there you go. There's the front three. Falcao, Messi and Ronaldo. I think Falcao, probably, yeah, I would agree with them. Zlatan is good, but Falcao last season just blew his away. And this season, I can imagine him just getting probably the most goals in the season, to be honest. He's doing absolutely fantastic. And the Colombian team this year, what a team it is. <laughs> um, I think we're going to have to build a few a Colombian team near the end of the year and see how good we can actually get it with all the informers we're actually getting right now. So anyway, this is the Team of the Year prediction for me. I know a few other people have done it. I'm going to leave the link for this in the description. You, all you have to do is create an account, and then you can go ahead and cr um, create your Team of the Year. Link them to me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. We're almost at 1,000 followers, which is crazy. I would never thought we'd even get that far on Twitter. Never mind YouTube where we are right now so thank you all for that um, please do drop a like on this if you did enjoy it and you agree with me and of course comment what you think as well and thank you all for watching anyway guys if you're not here subscribe for more and as always I hope you have a great day